I'm an NCB, I'm going to be majoring in aerospace engineering. My name is Jasmine Noe, and I'll be majoring in biomedical sciences with a concentration in pre-medicine. My name is Jace Frazier, I'll be majoring in civil engineering with a concentration on the environment. And our group project's name is Rain On Me. As stated throughout everyone's presentation, climate change and the greenhouse effect are having great negative effects on Earth, especially our climate. The greenhouse effect is when gases such as carbon dioxide is trapped within the sun's heat within the atmosphere, increasing the overall temperature on Earth. The largest contributor to the greenhouse effect is energy com coming from residential and commercial sources. Uh, and a large portion of that is from cooling systems such as air conditioning units, appliances, and industrial grade cooling equipment. These products contribute to global warming in three ways, such as continuous consumption of power, use and spread of fluorocarbons, its functional heat displacement, and a good portion of CO2 emissions are coming from highly dense populated cities such as Chicago, Shanghai, New York City, and much more. So without changing these climate problems, a lot of issues come up that to the common so one of the biggest issues is like, um, as the world continues and gets worse, uh, things like dramatic heat waves lead to longer and more intense droughts, which lead to decreased livability in areas, which leads to increased demand in things like AC and other cooling factors, which then compounds back on the problems like droughts. So these issues largely affect urban areas and cities, just like in the different cities. So, in order to combat these issues, we need to find a sustainable way to replace normal HVAC cooling systems. So what we've, what we've decided to do is take a look at what nature does to cool down its own environments, which is the rain. What we, uh, what we plan on doing is capturing rainfall as a natural source of cooling and using hydronic systems and properties in order to cool down materials and buildings. So as you can see in this photo right here, this is our SolidWorks 3D rendering of what that might look like. Um, a piece of material that would allow for rain to flow through and be like, hey, Let's see how much it cools down. Let's see where it cools down. And, you know, see if that level of cooling is sustainable and provides the luxury that you normally need to survive in these cities such as India, New York, Chicago. Uh, once we gather our data, we're going to look at where these locations are viable and like where they might be applicable. Uh, so on the next slide, I might show you that. Right here, we have two different graphs. One of them is for precipitation, and one of them is for temperature. So depending on the results of our study, it, there could be, they can be applied in various ways. But a main, the main focus area of what we're looking at is right here in the south in Alabama, Louisiana, Florida, and Georgia. As you can see on the precipitation graph, we get a lot of rain compared to our other counterparts you know, uh, you know, throughout the United States. And our temperature is also pretty high. So if we can combine these two factors as a way to cool ourselves down, we can create ways that will allow us to spend less money, increase our standard of living, cool down without inducing all these things on our environment. So it saves you money, it saves us money, it saves the environment, some stressful heat, and overall, it will be a good thing for everyone. Uh, here are we're excited. And if you have any questions, please